Hi folks, I'm John Haddad, Principal Consultant at The Last Pickle. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get up and running with Reaper in under 10 minutes. Reaper is a tool to help you manage repairs across your Cassandra clusters. It can deal with failures, it can deal with multiple data centers, it can deal with all sorts of problems that you might have. It intelligently schedules repairs across tiny bits of data to ensure that you don't run into problems. The first thing that we're going to do is download and install Reaper. We'll start off by going to CassandraReaper.io, click Downloads, and pick the one appropriate for your OS. I've got a virtual machine running Ubuntu server, so I'll grab the Debian package. We're planning on making this process a bit easier in the future, make our packages available via apt, yum, and homebrew. Once the download is finished, we can go ahead and install Reaper. Use the correct command for your operating system. Since I'm on Ubuntu, I'm going to use the dpackage command with the dash i flag. Next, we need to configure a place for Reaper to store its schedules, history, and other cluster information. We call this a storage backend. You can find the documentation for configuring the different storage backends on the website under backends. We're going to configure Reaper to use our Cassandra cluster as its backend. This is nice because we don't have to configure any other systems in order to manage our Cassandra cluster. It's all self-contained. The first thing we need to do is create a key space for Reaper to use. By convention, we use Reaper underscore DB. Notice I'm using network topology strategy and configuring the number of replicas in each data center. On your server, open the config file and go down to the storage type option and set it to Cassandra. Add the information about the Cassandra cluster below that, setting the cluster name and a handful of contact points. I have a three node cluster running using CCM, so I'm just gonna add the first node. Be sure to set the key space as reaper underscore db. Once you start this up, Reaper will discover the rest of the cluster automatically. Add your first cluster for Reaper to manage repairs on. This can be the same cluster you've configured as the backend. Reaper can easily manage dozens of clusters for you. Now we can start Reaper. The first thing we'll do is run a one-off repair on our cluster. Click Repair in the left menu and fill out the details in the form. You can limit the repair to a specific table, node, or have it run across the whole cluster. You can run incremental repairs, but we don't recommend it in versions below 4.0. Once you click Submit, you'll see the repair show up in the list. Click Activate to start it. Scheduling a repair is just like running a one-off. Fill in the same details, this time including when you want the repair to start and how often it should run. Hopefully all this is pretty straightforward. Now you've got Reaper set up running in a single data center. If you're interested in running in multiple data centers, head over to CassandraReaper.io, cruise into the Docs section, and look for the Multi-DC page under Usage. If you've got questions, don't be afraid to reach out on the mailing list. We're here to help. Have a good one.